everybody. Uh, I wanted to share with you all of the footage and the pictures and all that stuff that I took from BlytheCon. I took a lot of video while I was there, which is kind of interesting because I really only made it for about two hours in the day. And before I share this with you, I, I was kind of replaying back BlytheCon and my experience. It's the first time I've, I've ever gone to one. And I wanted to be kind of honest about just my, just something that happened. And so I, you know, I walked about a mile from my hotel to the big warehouse that they were having this event. And I saw all the people in line and you'll see this in the footage with their dolls. And so I thought I'm in the right place. I'm ready. I don't know much about Blythe's, but I'm, I'm excited. And I quickly found once I got inside and all of these people were there and money was flying and there were just there was all this activity that um, I had a full on like anxiety attack. And you'll see even whenever I'm, I'm talking in the video, I'll mention it, but I don't think I realized just how much it kind of dampened the day for me. I, I mean, I really I mean, it's an all day event. I, I could only stand it for a couple of hours before I got so upset, I could no longer breathe. I, I was just, I was no fun to anybody. And I didn't even get a chance to like, you know, hang out with a couple of people that I know from the Facebook group. I just was, I had to get out of there. And there were a couple of times where I actually had to step outside and breathe and tell myself it's okay, that it's okay that there's so many people, these are doll people, everything's gonna be fine. And I just, I got really disappointed in myself that I, I just couldn't make it anymore. I just got exhausted and ugh. anyway, all this stuff happened. And I'm, I'm embarrassed, I'm embarrassed even to say it now because I'm supposed to be out, a little bit outgoing, I know what I'm getting into and it still happened. So as I'm walking back to the hotel, I realize I just get more and more kind of down about myself and I've got a bag full of goodies and you'll see I've got fantastic stuff that I I'd purchased. I certainly spent enough money in two hours, but by the time I got back, I just, I went to a quiet place and I just kind of felt sorry for myself for a little while. And now that it's been a week, um, I realize that it's okay. <laughs> it's okay to have these experiences. It doesn't matter how prepared you think you are or how excited even that you are to go to an event like this. These things happen to the best of us and you can't beat yourself up. So I wanted to share my own personal kind of a little bit embarrassing experience about it because I think I'm probably not the only one who, who has these kind of anxiety attacks around people even in the best of situations. So that aside, um, I can't wait to show you all of the footage that I took and show you kind of the fun stuff that I brought home. So check it out.
So I just got back from BlytheCon. Uh, I spent about two hours there. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I had kind of an anxiety attack. I am not very good with crowds anyway, and I really, it was my fault. I didn't, I didn't set the expectation of it's going to be a lot of people, they're going to be all packed into kind of a small space, and there's going to be people throwing money left and right and lots of just lots of movement and I wasn't ready so there were a few times where I had to step outside take a break get my breathing under control and then go back in there um, it was there was so much to see I took some really great video which I'll show you um, but yeah I don't know if I did all that great <laughs> I think it would have been better if I had gone with a buddy or something because then they could have just been like oh okay you're kind of freaking out step outside um, I did however in the short time that I was there manage to do some damage to my credit card so I did some great shopping I'll show you the stuff I got uh, I'm really excited about it so let me show you all right so let me show you what I purchased um, I got some really cute things I mean I paid dearly for it. I mean, some of these things, I seriously, I wouldn't spend this kind of money on my own clothes, but doll people, you know what I mean. You feel me. 
First of all, there are a couple of items I got from Momo Jojo. These amazing jeans. Like how cute and hip are these jeans with the belt? I love, love, love this vendor. I know they have a fantastic shop on Etsy. I also got this outfit from Momo, jo Momo Jojo. Adorable. And then this is so me. It's this little dress. It's kind of got a Mori feel to it. It's embroidered. And I just had to have this one. And this is by Da Kawaii Dolls. Really, really cute. And then I got, I saw this vendor. I wonder if it has the name of it. Name of it? Pom Pom. Pom Pom. This was a one of a kind um, dress. And it looks like it's been made with an antique uh, handkerchief. So, so pretty. And I got this little a hair piece to go with it. I just thought it was so pretty. And then this was also one of a kind by Pom Pom. I thought that was so, so cute. I love that light blue color. It's one of my favorites. And then I broke the bank with this dress from Chew Things. I have been eyeing this particular dress on Instagram for some time. So yes, I broke the bank. But oh my goodness, it's so precious. All right, so this one I'm trying to remember which one this was for. It's like Our Blythe, I think. I will put links, by the way, in the description if you're interested. But I just thought, I love the color. I love the red, white, and blue. And this, I'm just like obsessed with Hanan. Uh, this is another person that I follow on Instagram. She is this lovely little, little person. <laughs> she is, she's tiny. And her outfits are just absolutely wonderful and she has this fabric that has the tiniest little um, patterns on them and speaking of patterns she's actually kind of famous for making these doll patterns of her dresses and it actually comes with the, like a whole kit so in addition to the pattern itself you get the fabric the lace the snaps all of that stuff and then she sells uh, the fabric itself so I already told mom, like, mom, project, project for you. And then a couple more items I bought. I just thought this was so cute. I'm pretty sure I saw this on Instagram and it's just like a greeting card, but I love the Alice in Wonderland theme. This, come on, like I couldn't resist little glasses. And then I love these eye chips. Um, obviously they're too big for uh, pull it, but I thought perfect for Buell. All right, so let me show you the stuff that I got in my gift bag. Okay, so here's the gift bag. It's very, very cute. There's my name tag. Uh, you also got um, a BlytheCon Brooklyn mug, which is really neat. And then here's everything that was in it. There is a lot of fun goodies. So everything from postcards and uh, bookmarks and stickers uh, to candy and I mean come on I mean Mota de Algodon she must have been working all night on these these are so cute and the little matching skirt I mean I wonder if they thought of that that is so cute from Kara and Bridget Tiki doll designs but so much fun stuff I saw that there were two pairs of stockings from the daughter who sews one of my favorite vendors um, this little No Sleep Till Brooklyn, love that. How about that tiny little um, Rubik's Cube? If you haven't guessed, there's like an 80s theme, which is really fun. They were playing 80s music. It just, it was a really cool event.